25-yard line, Ezekiel Ansa. On the two injured players for Hawaii, the defensive issue Florida game, Rod. I, I think Zach Mettenberger has yeah. something to 115 pounds, not 270. But you've got to get Oregon State. This is George Atkinson. We've talked about him being a track athlete. He's making it. BYU from Ghana with dreams of playing basketball. Didn't Booker was 60 yards in the second half, two in the first half. Looks for a couple more. Tech. Oliver is the back. Running left, Oliver. Utah trying to bounce back from a loss in Logan to Utah State last Friday, 27-20 in overtime. Bradley. Dad, another guy who's been through some injuries can relate. Here comes pressure on third and long to the back. Oliver, who's dumped it. Hayes steps up. Now will run and be tackled in any pocket. A fake on fourth and two, and BYU was younger brother. It's out for plenty of time to throw. Now he's running out of time, and down he goes. Ziggy Ansa had an answer eventually by Joe Southworth. When you're down near the red zone, you cannot take sacks. And I understand you're trying to look around for a wide open receiver. BYU's dropped eight, but you got to... Yeah, they really can. Southwick has his pass knocked down. And as difficult tonight as Riley Nelson... Harper. Not much running room against this tough BYU front seven. This is an opportunity, I think, guys, for the season. E.J. Harper in the backfield, lost a yard. Robert Prince, because of something. Delay to Harper. And D.J.'s knocked down by Ziggy Anson. It might be wide open. Hasn't had very many 7-6 games to try to hold on on the blue. D.J. Harper gets nothing. It'll be BYU a little bit less time. Let's get deep. Harper picks up one, maybe two, and we're going to... It is nothing but honest. Schroeder to throw on second down. Finds his check down Gregory for a gain of six. There. Gregory gets the handoff on first and ten. Strangest place you had to walk. Less than a minute to go before the half. Schroeder pass batted down over the middle. It's Ezekiel Ensa who gave Lafotu and Sean Shigamase. They have lost both of those guys for this game. So both offensive and defensive lines dealing with injuries, and you're seeing the consequences for Hawaii. That's Spencer Hadley who recovers, and he is into the end zone for a touchdown. With the arm going forward. That is, like every play, reviewed. Remember, any movement forward by the arm means incomplete pass. That's pretty quick, but it looks like that pass, like that arm is coming up. So again, the fumble recovered by Ansa. It's Van Noy and Ansa who get the pressure on Schroeder, force what's called a fumble. Hadley picks it up, fumbles at the goal line, Ansa recovers, touchdown. And the come from behind win over Louisiana Monroe. Gregory stood up, it's going to be third and short for Hawaii. Ansa there on the stop. Yeah, he's he's made a little bit of a statement tonight. He's been all uh, postseason in ineligible, yeah. so it's like USC was a year ago. They can have a great season, they can play spoiler, they can impress people, right. but uh, there's no numbers from his freshman year, last season. Keaton finds a Williams again on second and ten, and he is wrestled down and dropped by Ezekiel Ensa. The thing is it to have a 275 pound, 280 pound guy run you down when you're a running back. Play action from Keaton. Keaton will take the sack. And he is dropped by Ezekiel Ziggy Ansa. Man, him on the left, the right side of the screen. You'll see him flash through, and now relentless stays after it. The passer, you see him 
Bolt standing up, ready to rush. And here's Ansel on first and ten. Ansel back in the game, gets the sack on Keaton. We check in with that right now. <laughs> we don't have to make it for you. Williams dragged down, down tonight. Keaton pressured on third and three. It's incomplete. But he's not the only one coming. There's going to be pressure in right up the middle as well. This is not typical of BYU, but they bring lots of pressure. Ogletree 44 comes from the right side. Utah State yet again has an opportunity off the first turnover by BYU tonight. Chucky Keaton looking over the middle. Keaton trying to get to the outside. Ezekiel Ansa runs him down for the Aggies. Keaton over the middle complete. That's Cameron Webb who has will be fine. Woods is the setback and Vaz to throw on first down, swings it to Woods. Good way to get him started if he has it. Go to five and all. And they're doing it behind their backup quarterback, Cody Vaz. Throw. And so lined up over the right tackle. Look how quickly he spins out of that. <laughs> oh. Just he's just so fluid. Three man rush. Bronco makes even two and drop eight. You make it tough on the quarterback. And all they rushed was two. The nose guard, Tialavea, was backing out completely. That was only a two man rush, and Ansoff just gets. He's about to spend some time on that time. Here's Atkinson. Got a block on the corner, but the, uh, the track star, Ansoff, who came from UIU as a again. Playing football and getting a lot of attention. Six foot six, 270. I put the tape on earlier this week, and the first thing you see is the. Tony Reese with a hand in the field. For their next drive, let's see. Dodd High and Tony Zenon in the backfield right now. 15. His brother, a linebacker on the defensive side of the ball, Jabari Hunt, did play action. The pitch, Orlin Smith, cut from the high. And he's not so much on the field though right now. BYU has taken it to Georgia Tech. A 14 7 lead. Washington fake. On third down and eight. Washington flushed and he's dropped. Guess who? Ziggy Ansaw. Playing football for three years. A track athlete. Runs the 200 meters. Bush now to throw on first down. The ball pops loose and they're caught. Taking the short drop, they realize they won't be able to give him maximum pass protection. He's got the arm going forward there. Ziggy. That's the mark of a very good defense. That one's batted down at the line of scrimmage by Ziggy and San Diego County Credit Union Poinsettia Bowl. Underneath on the first play of the second quarter into Ryan Bass who runs his way for drive starts at the 25 Which is better than they've averaged on the starting field position today and Ziggy Anza make it Well Anza guy who's 40 yard dash and that's what it takes to excel at the next level Bush now goes underneath to his tight end Michael McGrown again but doing some things well against this excellent BYU defense that brings the North zone. They're going to bring the linebacker up again, Van Noy, to the line of scrimmage. Eskridge tries to cut it back inside. Up behind fails here on second down. Has some time, firing across the middle, incomplete, may have been tipped. The best passing defense in the country. And he's been able to slice him up. Side their own 20. Manley with side to his big tight end. A nice game play. Third and two. Handoff, and this is going nowhere. Receiving on the season. Third and four. Pressure on Manley. He escapes it, and now he gets taken down, and that is Ziggy Ansah. Now, Great protection all around, but it was max protection, Peter. That means they only had two guys out in routes. And when those two guys 
didn't get open. It was just minus five for the Cougars, minus 14 for the Aggies. Third and seven. That pass might have been tipped by Ziggy. Seven and three. Ansa and Van Noy. Aztecs block him up, but the short pass is intercepted by Ezekiel Ziggy Ansa. Well, watch 47 to the left of your screen. Doesn't give up, sees the ball, now he's moving down the field. Right place, right time to guys who hustle a little bit, huh? And Sandifer was uh, unable to hang on to that ball. In a 3-4 defense, yep. like he is now with BYU, that outside linebacker spot. Dingwell's pass nearly picked again by Ezekiel. You guys make plays. You're talking about a guy. Back to Mwima on second and six. Look at him oh. pick his way oh. through the Cougar defense. BYU factors into that as well on second and ten. Price gets out of the end zone. Third down coming. CBS Sports reporting that their Aztecs are backed up from their own one. Chase Price is in a tailback. It gets out of the end zone, but not very far. Ezekiel Hansen as a BYU Cougar, and he has been uh, solid. Four inside the three by Riley Stevenson tonight. There's another loose wow. football. Looked like the Aztecs got on top. Ezekiel Ansa punched it free.